Hello guys, a another little video today. I've not done one in a while. Um but we are looking at another running press kit today. Um a very appropriate running press kit actually. Um Game of Thrones. I believe it's back on telly. I think. Not heard too much about it. I don't know, some ramblings on Facebook or something. Anyway, so I thought I'd have a look at this. I um I I don't actually oh my, this is gonna get me in some trouble. I don't actually watch Game of Thrones. Um it's I'm sure it's a very well put together show. Um however, it's just not my thing. Um I've nothing against people who watch it, I don't think they're idiots <laughs> like that, because I know it's quite the thing to insult someone's TV show that they like. Um, I'm not going to. If you like it, then fair play to you. It's your thing. It's just not mine. However, doesn't mean to say I don't appreciate um, the collectibles, which are extremely amazing, which I'll show you in a second, as I have this, which is the Long Claw Collectible Sword. Now, I did give Game of Thrones a go a while ago, um, and I watched about a season and a half of it. Um, so I do know a little bit about this. This is the sword that is given to Jon Snow when he joins the Night's Watch. Um, and as it says on the back here, the pommel on the top used to be a bear head, which was, I believe, the um, sort of symbol of this chap's house. Um, however, the dire wolf, which is the House of Stark, I'm doing so well here, the House of Stark um, sort of symbol, um, I've forgotten the word, but you know what I mean, and that's what he replaced it with, so there we go, that's a little picture of it there, um, and a bit of a description, and that's also what you get in the box, it's a barcode, a running press, this is a running press deluxe kit, very nice, um, so that is the box. So I can go and sit up there. Okay, as always with these little things, you get a little 48 page colour book. Um, that's Owen from Torchwood. It is. I'm sure that is. It's Owen from Torchwood. Moving swiftly on. Um, so this is the little book that you get with it. Basically, it tells you the, about the Night's Watch. Well, there's not really much description of what the Night's Watch is, I don't think. There's oh well, there we go there we go there's a little description of what the Night's Watch is there more photos the oath of the Night's Watch brothers of the Night's Watch and then you get a whole book of character profiles which is kind of cool um, I'm not going to flick through the book because that'd be boring watching a book on screen oh I know that guy he was in the series I watched yay um so there we go enough about books and boxes let's have a look at the actual collectible. Um, this is the Game of Thrones collectible stand that it comes on. Let's see if I can't. There we go. Autofocus. Yay. Um, quite cool little plastic stand. Wooden effect plastic there. You can see the grain in. There's a bit of legal guff on the bottom there. What does that say? What do you say, legal guff? What do you say? Uh, basically tell you where it's made. Running press, all that, all rights reserved. I'm sure they are. So there we go. That is a little stand, and this is the sword itself, which is, you see, this is what I mean. I can appreciate the detail on this. This is supremely detailed. It is absolutely amazing. If I try and focus there, I'll be able to see the. It, it, that is not painted. That is detail in there, and it's sort of like a. Maybe a metal coated plastic, I don't, I don't know, but it, it does feel like metal. And this sheath actually does come off. So there we go, so that is the, that's that's plastic. This, however, is some sort of metal. It's probably just a... <coughs> yeah, it's just some sort of metal. But again, the detailing on it, um, and also the focusing on my camera is rubbish, but the detailing on it... It's really good. Now, I'm, I'm deliberately covering up the dire wolf at the end because for such a small detail on it, it is so well sculpted. So I'll just put the sheath back on there and let's have a look. This is the dire wolf on the end of the pommel. Come on, focus, focus. Why doth you not focus? 
Why you don't focus it? It's, it's a very tiny. There we go. There we go. So you can see there, it's and it has got the red eyes and the detail in like fur and ears. It's really, really good. Really, really good to be honest. Um, and that little sword, when the camera focuses, it sits on the plinth like that. So we go. That is the long claw sword from Game of Thrones. Um, there is actually quite a few Game of Thrones deluxe kits that you can buy from Running Press. Um, one that I do want to get, mainly because it does look quite cool, is the Hand of the King wax seal kit. So you get a, in the box I believe you get, I've just got it up on screen here. Um, let me just see here. Yes, so um, you get a little bit of paper parchment, a red wax candle and a stamp and a little sort of cloth bag to keep it all in. Um, so that's quite cool. You also get, there's a three-eyed raven, stark dire wolf, uh, the hound's helmet, oath keeper. Um, so there's quite a few little collectibles that you can get from Game of Thrones. I do believe I'll get the wax of the seal. Possibly the three-eyed raven because they look quite cool. Um, so yeah, that is just a quick little video looking at this. Um, I do have other videos on my channel. Um, mainly of really strange things like sonic screwdrivers and vacuum cleaners. I've got another vacuum cleaner video coming up soon, I do believe. Um, because I have a, a brand new vacuum, I have a Henry Hoover. Um, so we'll be doing a comparison video with the um, heads there. Um, when I get some time, probably on Wednesday or Thursday, just need to not hoover up for a few days to create a bit of dirt on the floor. Um, and yeah, so there we go. That is that is that. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye.